After receiving a radio signal, the time will automatically set. However, there may be circumstances when you will need to manually set the time, such as after an all reset or if you are in an area that inhibits signal reception. First, pull the crown out one click. The chronograph second hand will move to indicate the daylight savings time setting. Rotate the crown to select the city in your time zone. Next, press and release the lower right button to set the proper daylight savings time setting for this time zone. Each press of the lower right button will move the chronograph second hand to either daylight savings time with a choice of automatic or manual or standard time with a choice of automatic or manual. Please note that the daylight savings time setting must be done for each time zone you may wish to display. Next, press and release the upper right button. The chronograph second hand will move to the 32nd position to ensure all hands are easily viewed. Next, pull the crown out an additional click to activate the time calendar setting mode. The chronograph second hand will move to the leap year setting in memory. The minute hand is now active for setting. Next, rotate the crown to set the correct minute. Press and release the upper right button to select the hour and 24 hour hands. Now, rotate the crown to set the correct hour. Please note that 24 hour hand moves in conjunction with the hour hand and the 24 hour must be set to the proper AM or PM indicator. If the proper AM or PM time is not set, the date may appear to change in the middle of the day and the times for other time zones will be 12 hours off. Next, press and release the upper right button to select the chronograph minute hand on the 10 o'clock sub-dial. This hand will move slightly, indicating the date of month is ready for setting. Now, rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise to set the current date. Please note the chronograph minute hand will make five revolutions for each change of date. Now, Let's set the month and leap year designation. Press and release the upper right button to select the month leap year indicator hand, which is the chronograph second hand. Rotate the crown to set the current month and leap year designation as shown by this graphic. As you can see, each hour indice represents the current month and leap year, while the first three seconds past the hour indice represents one to three years past a leap year. Push the crown in two clicks to the closed position next to the case. This now completes setting the time and calendar. Upon change of a time zone or locale, you may wish to try on-demand reception to update your time rather than manually changing it. Please note that on-demand or manual reception may depend on the time of day and location of watch. Generally, Best signal reception occurs between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. when other radio signal atmospheric interference is minimized. With your watch fully charged, ensure your current location is shown in the city window. If it is not, pull the crown out one click and rotate the crown to show your current city. Next, push the crown in one click to the closed position next to the case. Next, press and hold the lower right button for two or more seconds. The second hand will move to the RX position and a beep tone will sound. Release the button and place the watch in a stable location where it will not be moved during the process. It can take up to 15 minutes for updating to complete. During reception, the second hand will move to one of three locations indicated on the dial, H for high signal strength, M for medium signal strength, and L for low signal strength. If signal reception or updating failed, a beep tone will sound. 
The chronograph minute hand on the 10 o'clock subdial will make one counterclockwise revolution. The second hand on the 6 o'clock subdial will resume normal operation. And finally, the chronograph second hand will return to the 12 o'clock position. At this point, normal operations are restored. With the crown pushed into the closed position next to the case, press and release the lower right button. The chronograph minute hand on the 10 o'clock subdial will rotate clockwise to indicate the current charge level. The chronograph second hand will rotate to show the last reception result, and the time second hand on the 6 o'clock subdial will rotate to show the radio signal station last attempted. These stations are located in the United States, Europe, China, and Japan. If the last reception attempt failed, the chronograph second hand will rotate counterclockwise to the no position on the dial at 56 minutes past the hour. If the last reception attempt was successful, the chronograph second hand will rotate clockwise to show the signal strength. High at 2 minutes past the hour, medium at 4 minutes past the hour, or low at 6 minutes past the hour. To end charge level and reception result checking, press and release the lower right button once again. Note, the chronograph minute hand on the 10 o'clock subdial and the chronograph second hand will return to their normal positions, and the true second hand on the 6 o'clock subdial will resume normal operation automatically after approximately 8 to 10 seconds. Radio reception and time shown is based on the city displayed in the city window. You must manually change the city setting as you change time zones for proper updating. Please note that radio signals cannot be received in all locales and may be inhibited by time of day, weather, building structures, and other environmental factors. To change the city, pull the crown out one click. Now rotate the crown to select your current city. Next, press and release the lower right button to set the proper daylight savings time setting for this time zone. Each press of the lower right button will move the chronograph second hand to either daylight savings time with a choice of automatic or manual, or standard time with a choice of automatic or manual. Please note that the daylight savings time setting must be done for each time zone you may wish to display. Push the crown in one click to the closed position next to the case. This now completes changing your time zone. Under normal conditions, this watch will receive radio signals to automatically update the time and calendar. There may be conditions in which the radio signal cannot be received. If a signal cannot be received, the watch will operate normally but will not update. Please note that after a complete loss of charge or if an abnormal display or function is noticed, an all reset procedure and zero positioning check and correction is required. Please remember to set the time and date after performing these procedures. This watch does not feature a GPS system. As such, you must manually change the city setting as you change time zones for proper updating. The watch will receive radio signals both automatically and on demand. Both the time and calendar will update based on the current time zone shown as indicated in the center of the city window. Automatic reception occurs first at 2 a.m and then if needed at 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. If the 2 a.m. reception signal is successful, the 3 a.m. reception process will not be activated. If the 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. reception is successful, the 4 a.m. reception will not occur. After a complete loss of charge, or if an abnormal display or function is noticed, an all reset and a zero positioning check and correction is required.
Let's begin the All Reset procedure. First, pull the crown out one click. Rotate the crown to move the city indication to UTC. Pull the crown out an additional click to the time setting position. Now press and hold the upper right and lower right buttons for 2 to 3 seconds, then release. A tone will sound and the hands will move, indicating the all reset was successful. Push the crown in two clicks to the closed position next to the case. You must now continue with the zero positioning procedure. With the crown in the closed position next to the case, Press and hold the upper right button for 10 or more seconds. This will engage the zero positioning feature and the hands will move to the zero positions stored in memory. Next, pull the crown out two clicks to the setting position. Press and release the upper right button. The hour and 24 hour hands will move slightly to indicate they are active for setting. Now rotate the crown clockwise to move the hour hand to the 12 o'clock position and the 24 hour hand to 24. Note, the 24 hour hand moves in conjunction with the hour hand and cannot be set independently. Next, press and release the upper right button. The second hand on the 6 o'clock subdial will move slightly, indicating the minute and second hands are active for setting. Rotate the crown so that the minute hand moves to the 12 o'clock position, and the second hand on the 6 o'clock subdial moves to the zero position. Please note that the second hand moves in conjunction with the minute hand and cannot be adjusted independently. Press and release the upper right button to select the chronograph's second hand. This hand will move slightly, indicating it is active for setting. Now rotate the crown to move the chronograph's second hand to the 12 o'clock position. Next, press and release the upper right button to select the chronograph minute charge level hand on the 10 o'clock sub dial. This hand will move slightly, indicating it is active for setting. Now rotate the crown to change the date of month so that it shows in between 31 and 1 with the chronograph minute hand on the 10 o'clock subdial pointing to the 60 or straight up position. Now press the crown in two clicks to the closed position next to the case. Finally, press and release the upper right button. The hands and date will rotate to the previous settings in memory. This completes the all reset and zero positioning procedures. You must now set the time either through on-demand reception or manually. Please note that on-demand reception may not be successful during the day due to increased radio signal interference.